I am recording another novena. Maybe I'll try. I don't know. No. First, I don't want to think that uh, I have to write a book and before my father has to, I don't know what, what, make Alzheimer's or what. So um, I don't want to be conditioned about this. On the other hand, I want to make something right about my mother, my family. Actually, my family consists in uh, truly in to not expand it, but my mother, who is dead now, 13, 14 years, my father, and an aborted brother. Something like that. Uh, what, uh, there is something that I must say. Is this on record? Another novena. And then, I really, maybe, you know, I was saying, um, what I was saying, I was saying uh, two days ago, one day ago, about the, to Mr. Galaiko Paun, I was saying to him, look, the ninth century, they did not, they did not know what, what they did. And uh, this is um, something that I think about, and my brother told me, like 2019, I already started to make, to make podcasts, but it's not about podcasts. Well, me and dad thought, talked about Dostoevsky and Tolstoy about dictating. I thought at least dictated with Hitler, dictated by my camp one in prison. So now we have uh, the great dictator, right? The machine. So what can I say? Is uh, it's and I've I have endeavors in this domain. I am not. Uh, singer, rapper, or uh, whatever, I write, basically. Um, and I want to say that uh, maybe I won't uh, write the second novel, the second volume of the novel, Mono de Lumira. But I might make some novenas. Novena is a thing in Catholicism. So the prayers to some holy saint, especially a woman, Mary, Rita, Caterina, whatever it is. So, um, and the spirit to Mary. So, what do I have to say? Tolstoy didn't have a recorder to work his books. And uh, what they happened, those guys who afforded dictated them and composed this is first you have to compose the book then you dictate or write it others wrote them and then uh, inventors invented Marconi invented the phone bell telegraph whatever and writers remained behind because they said look we got to write on paper we got to write to the machine like Hemingway we got to write a and then you got to write. Uh, and they uh, they even said I once had an ebook and I sent it to a magazine that usually or to Kobobi Literary or the same or the same director. And he said I cannot comment this book because it's not on paper. Because this is how backwards they are. I might say, look, uh, Wilhelm Bush said some sermons on the tape, and then they took and they made the, that book. Jesus on the Schicksal, Jesus our destiny, right? But I want to say, really, it doesn't matter that it's written on paper, that it is dictated and then written on paper. Uh, you can hear the preachings, if you understand German, especially. But uh, what matters is Schicksal, Jesus, Unser, Bush, Wilhelm. That's the thing. And uh, so to speak, 
It might be a digital novel, but not uh, on um, a text in word on um, a floppy, like that novel from 91, 92. But uh, what we do here, prayers. And they can worth much more than uh, some dry text. Especially that now I'm a master and I will be, oh, you see how, how, how I can write and write about my mother, about my father, about my family, and stuff like that. But on the other hand, I don't know. Uh, on another, but what I know is I pray that my father would live 98 years. Uh, so I don't plan to write nothing. But I had to turn the third time, turn over now, and to say something. My mother never fully trusted the human race. My mother never looked at me as if I was a boy. My mother was a lesbian. Her mother was a lesbian. My mother saw in marriage until we convinced her only a way to have a cat, a daughter. And uh, while she was pregnant, she said that she hopes to have a daughter. But she had a guy. She had a boy. And uh, there was there a lesbian uh, assistant at the birth, and she said, like in uh, the return of the native, I will make you right, I will make you a daughter. So the, that woman really, one woman named Maria, really worked my. How do you call them? So, uh, that is why the relationship between my mother and me, which is different between the relationship between me and my mother, was always like uh, relating with the girl. And especially when I was boyish. Sometimes she said, oh, if I knew, if I only knew, how you would be. Though I was in no way, I was a boy. And she had a, a pupil, the child of some other people, and she said that if she had a girl, she would have liked her to be like that. Well, that uh, girl I happen to know, and she's 20 times, well, at least, smarter than me, you know? but uh, if I had a child, I wouldn't say something like that, but anyways, and I want to say that, uh, to specify this thing, that uh, my mother did uh, transcendental meditation for 14 years, you know? 13 years, and uh, for her, I was never really a boy. And then afterwards, when I grew up, she said, oh, you are grown up, or whatever. But uh, I really believe that uh, all this, to put it over the other novellas, made her kill herself. And she had one more reason, she told me, Felix, do I have to die so that you would marry? And I'm not married until now. Always engaged. Right? I mean, until today, 12 of March 2029, 2024 AD. So my mother wasn't such a sinner. 
maybe she slept with her mother in her bed that they uh, got a lot well and stuff like that. And she wanted that with me. And she wanted a divorce. Be a divorcee. And I said, no, eight years old. But then she agreed to that. Anyway, uh, I believe that uh, apart, uh, you know, those two girls from Shakespeare's sister say hormonally yours. And uh, really, they, uh, you, whoever you are, you have nothing else you can say. They said it. You might say what you think, but that's just hormones. That is all. So uh, my mother died so that I would marry. That's the conclusion. On the third novena, we reached to the, we, we cracked the case. You know. God.